it's Adam from Drive Festival and I'm here with Hassan from VintageMotorsports.ca and uh, I want to talk to you about this amazing Dino SP race car that you just got back from Italy. Tell me so a little bit about it. So this car has a crazy history. Um, it started its life uh, as a you know, 206 SP prototype car, two liter, six cylinder um, and Enzo Ferrari promised this car to uh, Filippinetti. So yeah, it started life at, at uh, it went to uh, Sebring in 1967. Right. And then it went to Nürburgring in 1967, where at the practice uh, track, it basically was running, I think they have in there a few seconds behind the GT40, just like wow. 1.6 seconds behind the, that's amazing. The, the GT40. And that's a long lap. Uh, that's, and this is a six cylinder versus like, you right. know, a, a 12 cylinder, five liter engine. This is a two right. liter engine. So it was, it's super light, it's all aluminum and, and, and just a really, really efficient six cylinder engine. And the fuel line came loose and spewed fuel onto the engine and then the whole thing caught fire uh, on the track. And it was at the part where there was no fire marshals. So this is, this is uh, Jean Guichet who actually was in, an, you know, I think he's won Le Mans, but he's raced in Le Mans, yep. Doug Florio, very famous driver, drove this car. Uh, for the Scuderia Filippinetti, and he just basically came out and watched the car burn. And what happened was the body melted off, <laughs> but we have a letter from, from them period that the engine, the transmission, everything was there. It was burnt, as you could see. Right. These are actual parts of the car. The brake calipers actually melted, um, and wow. uh, the crankcase and the pistons and everything was there. Steeped in history. And steeped in history. And charred. And charred, and, and so, to go back, when I, when I purchased the car in 2015, Ferrari had originally refused to classicate the car. Everybody thought this is a huge risk. And when I bought the car, I had another guy bidding against me. And my kid, my son was holding my leg. He's like, dad, dad, we got to get this. And I, you know, it's going up, the prices oh, are going man. up, we're bidding. And, and they're eating Smarties and popcorn <laughs> and they're all coming out of their face. <laughs> and they're like, you know, six, eight, 10 years old. And they don't understand how much they, money they it is. They don't understand. And on the night before on the napkin, we wrote the number that we can go to, and plus the commission. So we had a number on the napkin, and we're like, okay, we can't go past this number. You went past it? So it went to the number I had, and then he put his hand up. Right. And I said, I put my hand up, and he looks at me, he says, your kids want this worse than I do, because it's yours. He backed out of the bidding. He said, nice guy, actually. He says, I want you to have it. Really? Yeah. He, he is, he's he a multi millionaire. He would have been nicer if he had stopped he getting had stopped a little earlier. bit earlier. Yeah. So there's a little, I think the auction house had a little something to do with that. But <laughs> we won't go there. Anyway, uh, when we got the car, I, it was way above what I had thought. So then I was in California. We had to mortgage the house. So I had to get my wife to sign the documents in California in front of a lawyer to get the Royal Bank to give me a mortgage. We had mortgaged 85% of the house took that money and I only had seven days to, to give the money, otherwise they would have taken the car back. Right. Wire the money, mortgage the house, wire the money, get the title of the car within seven days in California. We're not home, yeah. right? Your wife is a wonderful person. My wife is, is she, she is a I wonderful her, person said, right to now, buy you, a Ferrari. I said, you own nothing. You don't own a house and you don't even own a car because the bank owns the car. Right. So we have nothing. <laughs> she said, that's okay, I know, you know. So I bought it in 2015. Right. I got it certified in 2021. What had happened was because it had caught fire and then re was restored in Italy with alongside another 206, so they, the jig was there, everything was yep. remeasured. The chassis was never touched. The chassis was exactly as it was, and we have photographs from, the, from Marcel Mancini, who has photographs on the track when the car burnt to the day to day. Anyway, Ferrari had refused the Classic A. I bought it, talked to them, said, listen, this is the real deal. They came in and did 100 samples of metal spectrometry, scraping the chassis, proved that metallurgically it's the same composition of their chassis for the 206, and it also was in a fire and got cold hardened by the fire. So they got all this data right. and they said, okay, we're gonna certify it, but only we're allowed to touch the car. <laughs> Nobody else can certify the car. So, so write a check. Write a check. <laughs> and I tried Big for one. five years to negotiate with Ferrari. And so then we flew it out to Italy uh, it's a hell of a process, if you can imagine. And then they give you, they take the car apart, and then they give you an estimate when it's in Italy. So if I say, well, I can't do it, they're like, okay, come take the car back, right? In pieces. In pieces. And then it took 24 months 
and then it was done and, and it's brought back to the exact specifications as it left the factory. And I think the biggest part, you know, what's really difficult, there's other cars in this scenario and to, the hardest thing to do is to classicate a race car. Right. Because race cars have been in fires, they've been in crashes, they've been damaged, they have right. mismatching engines. So, you know, the greatest achievement, you know, for this car is really to get the certification. And, and this is an extremely difficult thing to do. Very few people are willing. So anybody who saw this car basically was not willing to put the bed on it, yep. right? And one of the things we'll just show you is this is the most important. Is it, uh, is the chassis original? And the answer is yes. And that's the hard, once that's correct, then the rest of the car is good. Um, is it complying with the original specs? Yes. And uh, which workshop did the specification? You know, it was done in Maranello, Italy by Ferrari. And so as long as it was a massive six year journey, right. I think it was the right journey. And somebody said to me, Hassan, this car has a history from 1967 to now, and you are gonna make the next history with this next book. And he right. says, you're creating the history for the next owner. So exactly. be part of that and enjoy it. Well, we're uh, thrilled to have it at Drive Festival. And I mean, this is one of our um, cars that we're talking about the most um, because we're doing the Ford versus Ferrari. And so we've been talking to Peter from Legendary Motor Car. He's bringing an original GT40. So we're gonna this bring this car back matched with a GT40 day. and we're it's... going to recreate 1967 <laughs> at CTMP. I, I, I'm going to no bring the same clothing. I want to exactly. wear it and I'm going to race Peter. Tell him I want to, five bucks, well, actually, I got to beat him. <laughs> we, we, we will, we will put you guys up the hill together if you want, but you have to behave yourself. There's too much money on, There's on too that much track money. together. Yeah. But no, that would be a dream to have those two cars reunited again. Yeah. So you know. we're super pumped to have uh, this car and recreate Ford versus Ferrari at uh, CTMP at uh, Drive Festival. And we're so pumped to do that. That's awesome.